Previously on Rob and Sherry, they finally make it to Lake Powell and end up sleeping in the parking lot in the boat one more time. In this episode, Rob and Sherry go down to the marina office, make arrangements for a moorage slip, and then later launch the boat for the first time in Lake Powell. Good morning everyone, this is day 15. We have arrived and we're way in the background, you can kind of see the lake stuff, but so busy, busy morning. <laughs> so we are just getting our jackets on, getting ready to go down to the marina. It rained. It rained. You can believe it, it rained here. So anyway, uh, got to get arrangements in the marina. Then we have to transfer things from the truck to the boat. Eventually put this thing in the water, see if it actually floats. I think it floats. And then uh, move dinghies. And so the, <laughs> even though we got here, it seems... Yay, woohoo, we're here. We still got a lot of work to do. But yep. anyway, and then uh, we'll sleep the night in the boat one more. We did sleep in the night in the boat one night well, last night, and that was fine. And uh, But it'll be on the water this time. And Cinder's doing great. She likes the boat. So now it'll be interesting to see how she likes it when it's in the water. So we got errands to do. We'll keep you informed. Bye. And the first thing we discovered on Lake Powell at the marina, they have little golf carts that are driving all over to pick people up to take them wherever they want to go and you leave them a little tip for a buck and they're happy campers and due to the size of this resort you'd be darn glad for a dollar you can get taken anywhere you want and this driver took us right up to the main office to register our boat it's tough to make a decision on two slips so this one's closer to the restaurant and the marina office and restrooms but the other one's closer to restrooms and showers so we're gonna go look at the other one okay so we're looking at our second choice I'm sure he's checking it out this one's a little farther out in the marina you don't want to park your boat too too close to a uh, better looking boat to make your boat look bad there's definitely two nice boats between them so. oh. Tough decision. So the decision was made, this would be the one for our boat. Okay guys, as I was saying earlier, prep time. So Sherry's been up there putting the carpets back in. And uh, we'll have to mount a dinghy and a motor on the bracket up there. And uh, I think our boat will get inspected and make sure we don't have any weird parasites in the boat. And uh, Lots of things to do. We've got to get the dinghy out of the back of the truck, which is back here. And uh, there's a dinghy and a the motor there, a little heavy, so it'll be interesting to see how we do with that. And we got to get the bumpers out, get everything uh, set up, and that's before we even get in the water. So we're getting there. And by the way, both Sherry and I forgot. <laughs> Today's our anniversary. Yes, it is. Can you believe that? 36 years. August 23rd is our uh, is our anniversary. So when you see this video, it'll be a little time out. But yeah, 36 years. So guess what our present was? <laughs> I'm not sure. This present's a lot of work. <laughs> At the moment. <laughs> and, uh, That'll be nice once it's set up. And Cinder is down here kind of waiting for her turn. So she's being good. So anyway, happy anniversary to us. Get this thing ready and soon into the water. Alrighty, so we got our motor all mounted. And it's a four horsepower, four stroke Nissan Marine. And uh, got our bumpers all lined up. And then sure you got the carpet again. We uh, just turn on the gauges, power's on, checking fuel, fuel full tank, which uh, <laughs> uh, that's probably about $200 worth of fuel in there. And we're getting almost ready to roll. So this is our moment of truth. A little, little nervous. We really shouldn't be. We have experience on this before, but it's the first time we ever driven this boat. Everything's new. And getting in the water. New area. The whole works. So here we go, guys. We're launching the boat. All right, so for our next trick, we got the dinghy out. Sherry's out at the boat there. We have a little, little teeny rope for it. So that should be fun. And we have a mount in the back of the boat. So we'll just float it down the dock. 
somehow get around the boat and uh, call it good. Alrighty, so this is our first time out. Thought we'd stop in the middle of the lake for a minute. Let's just see what we see. This is Lake Powell. Real pretty. And then there's a bunch of moored boats there and the marina is over there. So at this point, it was time for me and Sherry to reflect on the 4,000 mile journey we went through, going all the way to Washington, picking up the boat and transporting it all the way back here. And now we're on the lake. The two weeks of being away from home, the expenses, it was all worth it. We have found our solitude, we found our beauty, we found Lake Powell, and of course, each other. Hi, Cinder. So what do you think? Sherry and I really had no idea how beautiful this lake is. And then in the future, we know we're going to bring to everybody that views our channel some very beautiful sights. I look forward to the future. This lake gives happiness to a lot of people and a lot of families. And we're looking forward to showing it all to you. So after about an hour or so out in the water and just testing the motors a little bit, this is our marina slip. And it's a cozy little place and we're happy with it. Hi guys, this is Robin Sherry. We're wrapping up day 15. We're in the boat tonight on the water. Got all of our systems running, light, lights are on, everything's working good, got watered up. Uh, met a guy who will check our cooling system just to make sure it's, uh, it's a water exchange cooling system and before I turn it on I'm going to have them inspect it and Cinder has been trying to get kind of used to things which is used up too. she's just like what is this thing <laughs> so anyway that concludes uh, this show here for uh, uh, day 15 tomorrow we leave the boat and we drive about 350 miles down to Phoenix where we live go back go back to the RV and then we'll actually be back up here in two days mm -hmm. so we're leaving on a Wednesday we'll be back up here on a Friday with a list of things that we need to bring on the boat and what we're gonna do so stay tuned is we're going to uh, do a little investigating of some different places to take our grandkids the following weekend on the three-day weekend so we're looking forward to that so really we're prepping the boat for a really fun weekend with grandkids and our daughter and uh, son-in-law so anyway I want to thank you for watching we successfully got the boat to Lake Powell all is good uh, boats working as good as expected so anyway thank you for watching there was a lot more to the stories now, but <laughs> so the journey's over, but a new journey begins with all kinds of, I promise you, you're going to see some fantastic uh, places. Uh, Lake Powell is amazing, so we're looking forward to it. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, love to hear your comments, and have a great evening. So good night, guys. Good night. Stay tuned for our next video when we show you stunning pictures of our drive from Page, Arizona. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.